Don't shoot. Please, don't shoot. Stick them up. Stick them up. They are. My money's in my left-hand pocket. Stick them up. Stick them up. Don't do anything rash, Robert. Don't do anything rash. Get your hands up. Roger, are you afraid of that loudmouth bird? Why, when I get through with him, he'll be behind bars. No, don't antagonize him. He's armed. Look behind you. It's a parrot. What? <laughs> then who took my money? I did, doll. There's $20 missing. Ah! It's a holdup! It's a holdup! <laughs> If I had pretty Polly, I'd have a mink coat in no time. I'd have him stuffed. Where did you get him, Wilbur? In a police lineup? Him's a her. Tootsie. Aunt Martha's parrot. Aunt Martha? Having company? Just arrived. She's a wonderful person. Practically brought me up. Ah, oh, here she is. Hi. Andy, I'd like you to meet uh, my wonderful neighbors, Kay and Roger Addison. This is my Aunt Martha. How do you do? How do you do? How do you How do? do, you do? <laughs> Any friend of Weeby's is a friend of mine. Weeby? Oh, that's what he called himself when he was a baby. He couldn't say Wilbur. Oh, how precious. Just adorable. <laughs> he was the most beautiful child I ever saw. He had gorgeous blue eyes and long lashes and a head full of golden curls. Long lashes and golden curls. What a shame I didn't know you then. I wasted my youth on Mary Pickford. <laughs> A uh, talking bird. What'll they think of next? Ed, this is Tootsie, Aunt Martha's parrot. Tootsie's gonna be staying with you for a while. Well, who sent for her? Stick him up! Stick him up! Ah, shut your cotton pick and beak. Well, you might learn a few things from Tootsie. She seems to be a very smart bird. Yeah, then what's she doing in jail? Hmm? Now sleep well, dear. I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> oh, you smart little birdie. Mm -hmm. Good night, Tootsie. If you're so smart, say Peter Piper pick a peck of pickled peppers. Peter, Peter, Peter. Pick him up. It's a hold up. I knew it. You're stupid. I love you. I love you. Smart, huh? Well, I got a way to fix you, sister. Wilbur! Wilbur! Oh. Tootsie's gone. She's not here. Tootsie, where What do you are mean she's you? gone? She's just gone. She's just not here. The last time I saw her, she was in her cage right on this stool. Aunt Martha, don't get excited. Now, we'll find her. Oh, you don't think that a cat got it. Don't you? I couldn't bear it. It may it. take time, but I'm sure we'll sleep, find her. Any luck? No. Aunt Martha's just sick about this. You know, she went up to her room. Honey, why don't we buy her another parrot? Won't help. Aunt Martha just poured her heart out to me. Do you know she's had Tootsie for 25 years? That long? Mm-hmm. Ever since her husband died. That bird's been her closest friend all that time. She must be a very lonely person. She's always so happy. I think that's a cover-up. You know something else? I don't think she sent us any letter. I was thinking the same thing. She was probably afraid we'd turn her down. Yeah. Come on, let's go cheer her up. <laughs> Hello. Wilbur, Tootsie's back. That's wonderful. T thank you, officer. Tootsie's back. What? Aunt Martha, Tootsie's back. I love you. I love you. Stick him up. It's a hold up. Forgive me, Tootsie, for hiding you in that ash can. <laughs> Tootsie, sweetheart. Yes, baby. Where were you? Yes, darling. Where did you go? I wonder who could have brought her back. Yes, dear. Yes, you such a sweetie pie. But where were you, darling? Mommy was speeding my perfect back up a couple hours. Now, who taught her that? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you want to